Make sure you like and subscribe so that Amelia can eat. She's hungry, she doesn't have any cat food left and I don't have the money to buy her anymore. So I'm gonna feed her banana chips. Alright, so a guy in my comments said something about this bonsai place. I've always wanted a bonsai. I'm gonna go check it out. I just wanna look at the place if nothing else. But would you take a minute, just look at my outfit. Look, my, my socks match my outfit. My socks. This is the first. I look better than I've looked in 40 years. I haven't even been alive for, I've never looked this good in my entire life. Thank you H&M for your, uh, Wonderful styles at seven dollars. All right, that behind me, that's the bonsai place. Just got here, looks pretty nifty. Yeah, so, but do you like just, can I walk around or? Yeah, yeah, what, what is that? Are you Cam? 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know if we want everything photographed. Okay. When I walked in, I did not feel like I was welcome. He definitely didn't really want me there, so I didn't really want to be there. Yeah, all in all, Brussels bonds, I, pfft, you guys, customer service sucks. But I uh, took a couple videos with my cell phone anyway to spite them, so here they are. Bacon, sausage, beef, beef, eggs, cheese, cast iron, some other stuff. Some flannels. That's my Costco run. The carnivore Costco run is so much easier. All right, just finished my Costco trip. It was $200 total. Enough meat for like a century, probably for like three weeks at least. And two flannels, a coffee thing, and a $40 uh, cast iron pan set. So I'm thinking carnivore is gonna be super cheap. I'm looking forward to the prices. Uh, and the without since I don't have to buy variety, I can buy massive bulk, which saves a ton of money. So, yeah, headed home. First things first, I'm going to be unboxing this heater. It's like the best seller on Amazon, so should be good, hopefully. So first impressions of this heater. I like this green light thingy. I don't know what it does. Apparently it takes a while to heat up, so uh, I'll leave it alone. All right, next up, we're gonna season these cast iron pans that I just bought. Holy crap, it's smoky in here. Ah. So, the last thing on my plate today is a review of this beautiful heater right here. 
I know I'm sitting on the floor. I know I have matching sweatshirt and sweatpants combo. You know, sometimes that's just how it is. Let me turn this down a little bit. This is the best heater I've had so far. So I'm, I just wanna do a quick overview of it. So basically uh, this heater, it has two switches. One of these switches is min, this is 700 watts. The other one is medium, this is 800 watts. You turn them both on together, it's 1500 watts. Go figure. Here's a thermostat, you can change the temperature of the heater, it goes up to six. So I'm guessing, it doesn't really have numbers, but I'm guessing it goes by, like, Amelia, get off of there. I'm guessing it goes by like five, so like 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. I would assume that's what it does. Don't really know. The manual is not super awesome. The manual talks about this button, this comfort temp button. It talks about how to turn it on. Don't you dare. But it doesn't actually say what the t button does. It just talks about if you turn this off, if you turn, so if you turn comfort temp off and you turn these two switches on, that's the maximum setting apparently. It says that, but it doesn't say what comfort temp does. The number one thing I've learned is that all electric heaters kind of suck. They're not gonna heat up your whole RV like crazy, but this is the best one. Getting an electric heater that heats up the oil inside of this heater instead of getting a heater that blows out hot air and tries to heat up the room, this is the best. So this is constant heat. It takes a little bit to heat up. It takes about probably five, 10 minutes to get hot, get going. But after that, it's hot. It's basically stays pretty warm. Like I said, best heater I've had so far. This does the best job of raising the temperature in the whole RV. The other heaters, if you were right in front of them, you, you could feel the warmth, but they would not raise the temperature of the whole RV. Plus, it's got these cool rolly wheels on it. Bottom line is, this is by far the best electric heater I've had thus far, and I've had like four different types of electric heaters at this point. And this one is $75 on Amazon. I'll throw a link in the description below. Yeah, this is the best one. If you're gonna get an electric heater for your RV, I highly recommend this one. Definitely think that oil filled in general. So if you are if you don't want this one, an oil filled electric heater in general. Come here, Amelia. All right, I'm gonna do the rest of this with Amelia on my lap. Don't try to go cheap and buy the $25 one. It's just not gonna work at all. So you might as well just grab this one. One of the things I will say about this though is that it does randomly ha make that clicking sound. That's actually the oil inside of it. When it's hot, it, it sometimes pops. Apparently it's very normal, so you don't have to worry about that. I don't know if that would annoy you personally, but you don't have to worry about it. That's all I wanted to do, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe so that Amelia can eat. She's hungry, she doesn't have any cat food left and I don't have the money to buy her anymore. So I'm gonna feed her banana chips for the foreseeable future until you subscribe to this channel. So once you subscribe, Amelia will get normal cat food. But until then, I'm gonna feed her banana chips. Who knows how long she'll last? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. See, she doesn't like it. Until next time guys, see you later. this. She thinks she runs this place.